Here's a surprising set of integrals. Let's start with what I call integral zero, the integral from zero to infinity e to the negative x dx. Now, the nitpicky way of doing that integral is you take the limit as b goes to infinity of a proper integral from zero to b. We can perform that integral, take the limit, and we get one. So integral zero is one. Now, integral n is going to be the integral of x to the n times e to the minus x. In order to do this integral, we need the integration by parts rule. So integral u dv is uv minus integral v du evaluated or integrated between limits. Let u be x to the n, dv be e to the minus x dx. When we plug those in, we get a term that vanishes as d goes to infinity because e blows up faster than any polynomial that goes to zero. And what it boils down to is that integral n here is n times integral n minus one. Okay, let's put those together. If integral zero is one, then integral one will be one times integral zero, or one. Integral two will be two times integral one, or two times one. Integral three will be three times integral two, which is two times one, so three times two times one, or three factorial. Integral n is actually n factorial. Now here's the kicker. Who said that n has to be an integer? If we let n become one half, say, that would let us know what one half factorial is if we can perform the integral. 